Today is Wednesday, 13th of October, 2021, with Pastor Chris teaching. Our topic for today is, we have something they can't understand. Our opening scripture is taken from Isaiah 30, verse 31, and it says, For through the voice of the Lord shall the Assyrian be beaten down, which smote with a rod. Hallelujah. In the Old Testament, God prophetically described the spirit of the Antichrist in several ways for us, and he helped us understand what that spirit would do in different phases until he's fully manifested in a man. But as long as we are still in the earth, before the rapture of the church, Satan and his cohorts of darkness don't stand a chance in establishing their evil order. We have something that he can't understand, the name of Jesus and the word of God spoken in the power of the Holy Spirit. Glory to God. Observe something in our theme verse. The phrase, the voice of the Lord. It refers to the word of God spoken by the power of the Holy Spirit. That means the rema of God, which is the sword of the Spirit. It discomfits Satan and the princes of darkness. Hallelujah. Pastor says, Satan puts people in bondage and makes tyrants and despots out of leaders. Think about a man who was very humane when he was elected a government official, but suddenly becomes a tyrant afterwards. Why? Satan took over his mind. This is what happened in some countries. Suddenly, some leaders metamorphosed into cruel dictators and the people lost their civil liberties. But the Bible says, And the Lord shall cause his glorious voice to be heard, and shall show the lightning down of his arm, with the indignation of his anger, and with the flame of a devouring fire, with scattering and tempest and hailstones. For through the voice of the Lord shall the Assyrian be beaten down with smuts with a rod. That we can find in Isaiah 30, 30 to 31. Glory to God. The Assyrian is one of the prophetic names of the Antichrist, Pastor says. Thus, by the word of God on our lips, we cut off and beat down this evil prince of darkness and thwart his plans. And Pastor says in conclusion now, as long as we, the Church of Jesus Christ, are in the earth, only the will and purpose of God will be established. Oh, glory to God. And thank you, Father God, for your word to us today. Okay, let's take our confession now, meaning it to the whole of our hearts. Please say after me. By the power of the Holy Spirit, the adversary is beaten down and the plans of the enemy shattered. The hearts of men around the world are stirred and established in righteousness. The glory of God rests on and influences the nations and all forms of evil, turmoil, wickedness and terror the devil seeks to unleash on the world are thwarted to the praise and glory of the blessed Lord Jesus. Amen. Praise God. Okay, for further study, please read Isaiah 10, 24 to 27, Mark 16, 17, and Ephesians 6, verse 17. Praise God. Pastor says something I liked very much. He said, we have something that he can't understand, the name of Jesus and the word of God spoken in the power of the Holy Spirit. Who? Hallelujah. If you've never received salvation, if you've never received Christ into your heart, if you've never experienced this life of Christ that I'm talking to you about, this is your moment. Say these words. Say, O oh Lord God, I believe in Jesus Christ, the Son of God. I believe He died to save me. I believe God raised Him from the dead and He's alive today. I confess with my mouth, Jesus Christ is Lord of my life. 
from this day. And by my faith in him, I receive eternal life into my heart, into my spirit. Thank you, Lord, for saving my soul. I have eternal life now. I'm a child of God now. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. If you just said that prayer along with Pastor Chris, congratulations. Welcome to the family of God.